sir can you please tell us the steps of ads exam yes so if you want to become a registered dentist in australia so there is a four steps you need to complete sir so you mentioned that academically helps you to prepare for ads exam i just wanted to know how this academically help dentists hello everyone welcome to the second episode of know it all with your very own isha and our esteem career coach dr akram first of all i would like to thank you all for the overwhelming responses to the video and we hope that it helped to clear the doubts of global doc our today's episode is dedicated to the global dentists hailing from different countries of the world who is to make a better career out of their dental degree so let's start imparting knowledge also if you guys want us to continue make such videos kindly like share and subscribe to our channel so that we can present in your service always welcome dr akram hope you are doing good yeah thank you sir yes i am fine i hope you are you too yes thank you today i will ask you questions and queries about the dentist about the adc exam yes i am ready yes so let's begin our first question is what is the adc exam so adc exam is a full form like australian dental council exam this is mandatory those are overseas qualified dentists who want to practice in australia so they need to write this exam and once they pass the exam then they can practice in australia as a dentist as we know there are so many dentists who want to migrate to abroad countries for their work so that's why we will be asking you our next question who can give the adc exam what is the eligibility criteria for adc exam <music> So it is the uh, exam anyone can give those are completed like bachelor degree in dentistry minimum four year degree. So if you are from India Pakistan we have, have around five year degree right you are eligible to sit in the exam and importantly no work experience required because our uh, this BDS they completed one year internship also. We registered dentists in the home countries also mandatory. So guys if you have completed your bachelor's degree in dentistry and uh, if you have a certification then you can give this exam. So our next question is how can someone apply for the ADC exam? ADC exam is uh, applying very very easy. You just need to go to ADC website, Australian Dental Counselling uh, exam. I mean the website, and you just make your own account and upload all these documents. You know, this is the first step called document verification, and they will check your degree from which college, which university you graduate, and your registration, dental counsel, you know, all those documents like passport size, that photograph, passport, uh, maybe the RR card, and all those documents they require. Even academically, will also help you if you uh, want to apply. Yeah. So guys, you just need. to verify your documents and obviously academically is there if you have any doubt about documentation now let's talk about what are the steps of adc exam sir can you please tell us the steps of adc exam <music> Yes. So, if you want to become a registered dentist in Australia, so there are four steps you need to complete. The first step begins like document verification with ADC Australian Dental Dentistry Council, and then you have to write this uh, part one ADC exam. This is a multiple choice based questions, and uh, we provide basically coaching for this exam. Easily, you can pass in your home country. The next step is the uh, step three, the English test. You need to pass like IELTS. PT or OET, and uh, and then you also need uh, step four is the OSCE exam or final clinical exam. This exam you need to give in the Australia. You have the four oh. steps you need to complete in order to uh, register in Australia as a dentist. Okay, guys. So like there are two main exams, which is a uh, multiple choice exam, and the second one is the clinical exam. Okay, so you mentioned that uh, there are going to be some English that you need to give, right? So I just wanted to ask: Is English proficiency required for the initial assessment? No, this is a very common question. Student asks basically the English required first, then they have to apply for classes, and then they only can sit in the exam. So this is not no such condition. You can give after the exam, or you can give before also. There is no such condition. Let's move over to our next question. Can a dentist from India attend the ADC exam? Yes. So this exam basically, you know, is class assessment you can do from India in your home country. Same for you can book the exam. You can give this online exam. You can give in the in your home country in India. And uh, there are so many centers is there. And yes, you can give in, in in India. No problem. Our next question is: How can a person get a visa after clearing the ADC exam? <laughs> So basically, if you pass this part one and part two, then you are eligible to apply your PR visa, like subclass one nine zero, subclass four nine one, 
or there are some work visa also you are eligible to apply once you complete this process sir so you mentioned that academically helps you to prepare for adc exam i just wanted to know how does academically help dentists so basically we provide assistance a to z from day one onwards your documentation process and we will provide around four month coaching from live from australia so you will provide basically live sessions we will provide you the study material plus mock test everything will provide you in our mobile application we have uh, we have our online lms you know and apart from once you pass exam we'll also provide you a coaching for english also you can pass with us you know so basically we'll provide you all these steps you can complete in at academically so academically is here it will help you even um uh, for you like visa guidance job guidance also uh we, we will provide you that's great sir so guys academically will provide you all the resources you need to prepare for exams also they will guide you for your job and visa preparation so let's move forward to our next and last final question how much time does it take to complete the process of becoming a dentist in australia so basically this question like is based on the individual you know individualize if you pass these both exams you can get the pr visa as soon as possible but around it may take around a minimum 6 month to 1 year to complete this process so it will take 6 months to 1 year to complete uh, the overall process including the exam yes thank you for your answers dr akram i believe they cover everything about adc exam and the process of migration to australia for dentists is there anything else you would like to conclude for our second episode you guys you can leave us comment below you know so we can you know uh, cover in our next uh, podcast if you have any questions or any doubts you know so we can cover in our next exam yeah thank you so much isha thank you so much sir guys please comment below if you have any doubts in mind we, we are here to answer your questions let's see all of you in our next episode of Know it all with Isha and Dr. Akram Ahmed.